Hi and welcome in this new video. My name is Mark Lamati, Head of Customer Education at Astronomer, and I'm super excited to see you for this last video of the YouTube series about Cosmos. So if you are already using Cosmos, or if you want to use Cosmos, I think that video is going to be great for you as you will discover the best practices. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's start with the actual beginning, which is the setup. There are a few questions when you want to set up Cosmos, and the first one is how do you install dbt alongside Airflow, and the second one is how do you install dbt dependencies, because as you may know, dbt needs many dependencies to work, and they can enter in conflict with Airflow dependencies, as you can see in this beautiful error message. So there are a few questions you can ask yourself to make the right decision. And the first question is, can you install dbt and Airflow in the same Python environment? Well, if that's yes, then you are all set, no configuration needed. And in fact, by default, Cosmos will use the execution mode local with the invocation mode dbt runner, and that helps you to run dbt commands around 40% faster than any other execution mode, which is pretty cool. But if you can't, then the second question is, can you create and manage a dedicated Python environment alongside Airflow? If yes, then you have two additional steps. If you are using Airflow, you will need to create a virtual environment in order to install dbt in it as part of your Docker file, and then you will need to tell Cosmos where the dbt binary is. You can find the examples just below. On the left, you have the Docker file where we create the Python virtual environment with dbt in it, and on the right, you can see the dbt dag with the execution config, and more specifically, the dbt executable path, which is the parameter we use to specify where the dbt binary is. And just keep in mind that the first method is more efficient than the second one. But now, if you cannot create and manage a dedicated Python environment alongside Airflow, in that case, you still need to ask yourself, do you still want to have dbt installed in Airflow nodes? If yes, then good news, Cosmos can create and manage the dbt Python virtual environment for you. You can use the execution mode virtual env as shown below. And if not, then you don't have to have dbt in the Airflow nodes to benefit from Cosmos. You can leverage the load mode dbt manifest and the execution mode Kubernetes. You will learn more about the execution modes later in that video. And keep in mind that the load mode corresponds to how you want to parse your dbt project and the execution mode corresponds to how you want to execute your dbt project. Now, if we move to the dbt depths, the dependencies of your project, if yes, well, that's the most efficient approach because that tells Cosmos not to worry about the dbt packages.yml file. And basically, in the render config object, you just need to specify install depths to false. But if not, then no problem because by default, Cosmos will run dbt depths before running any dbt command, so you don't need to configure anything for that. It is the default behavior. Keep in mind that if you pre-install dbt depths, then obviously it's going to be much faster than if you let Cosmos install the dependencies for you. Next, let's take a look at the database connections. One question you should ask yourself, do you manage your database credentials in Airflow? If yes, then good news because Cosmos has an extensible set of profile mapping classes that can automatically create the dbt profiles.yml file from Airflow connections. And as you can see on the right, you just need to instantiate a profile config object with the profile mapping here, Snowflake user password profile mapping, if you are using Snowflake with your dbt workflow. And again, that connection exists in Airflow, as you can see with the connection ID, my Snowflake connection ID. And if not, well, no problem because Cosmos also allows you to define your own profiles.yml file. As you can see here in profile config, this time we specify profiles YAML file path to tell to Cosmos where to find the connections. While this way is faster than the other one, keep in mind that you will need to manage your connections in two different places because maybe you have the same Snowflake connection in your profiles.yml file and in your Airflow instance. So it's up to you to choose which method you prefer, but just keep that in mind with the first way, even if it is slower, you have a single place where you manage all of your connections for both Airflow and dbt. All right, now let's take a look at the rendering. When we talk about how do we render our dbt workflow in an Airflow DAG, 
there are a few questions that are important. The first one is, how do you parse the dbt project? Then, how do you select a subset of the original dbt project? And last but not least, how are tests represented? So, let's take a look at each one. First, how to parse the dbt project? And one question here is, are you able to pre-compile your dbt project? If yes, well, this is great because that will help the Airflow DAG processor to save time and a lot of time. Actually, I've seen that in many users just by generating the manifest.json file in advance, that can dramatically reduce the time it will take to render your dbt workflow. You can even do that as part of your CI-CD pipeline, for example, but trust me, that will save you a lot of time. And if you are struggling with the rendering time, this is the first thing that you should take a look at. But if you can't, then the next question is, is dbt available in the Airflow scheduler? If yes, Cosmos will use dbt ls command to identify the pipeline topology and the output is cached and refreshed automatically. It can also be purged manually. And if dbt is not available in the Airflow scheduler, in that case, Cosmos will use its built-in dbt project parser. While this implementation is the best effort, it may not support all dbt project features. So definitely not the recommended way. And as you can guess, if you pre-compile your dbt project, it is much faster than if you let Cosmos use dbt ls. Moving on to selecting a subset of nodes. So did you use dbt ls to parse the project? If yes, well, that's great because you can use any selector flag available in the version of dbt you are using. Select, exclude, or selector, as you can see in the examples below. But if not, well, Cosmos will use custom implementation of dbt selectors to exclude and select nodes. dbt YAML selector is not currently supported and the following features are supported, selecting based on tags, path, config materialized, graph operators, tags, intersections, and so on. Then what about representing the test nodes? Do you want to hide dbt tests? Because you can do that. If yes, that's fine. Tell Cosmos not to render them with testbehavior.known, as you can see in the render config object. And if not, would you like to run all the tests by the end of the DAG? If yes, that's easy. You just define testbehavior.afterall in the render config object. And if not, this is the Cosmos behavior. Okay, this is the Cosmos default behavior. It allows you to run the tests that relate to a specific model, snapshot, or sit together with the specific dbt node they relate to. Obviously, the first method is the fastest way because you don't run the tests at all. By default, if you render your dbt workflow using Cosmos, you will see something like that. And if you expand the task groups, you will always see the run and the tests. That's the default behavior. So that's why as soon as, for example, you materialize staging payments, then you will run the corresponding test. Again, you can change that as you saw in the previous slide. Now, keep in mind that while you can render your dbt workflow as a DAG, you can also render it as a task group. And the idea of using a task group instead of a DAG is that this task group, so your dbt workflow, can be in a DAG. So as you can see here, we have a DAG with a task, pre-dbt, and pre-dbt runs first, and then your dbt workflow presented in a task group. So this is pretty powerful. You don't have to have a single DAG corresponding to your dbt workflow. And also with Cosmos, you can define how to convert dbt nodes in Airflow. For example, you have the dbt sources that you want to render in a specific way. You can do that. As shown in this example, you have the render config object with node converters, and that takes a dictionary with the keys corresponding to the dbt resource type, in that case, source. And then we pass a Python function, convert source, that tells to Cosmos how to render, how to represent the dbt source nodes. So that's it about rendering. Now it is time to look at a very crucial part, which is the execution of your dbt nodes. So how to run the dbt commands? The first question that you should ask yourself, is dbt available in the Airflow worker nodes? The worker nodes that run the Airflow tasks, and so your dbt nodes. If yes, well, Cosmos will use the execution mode local by default, which is pretty fast. And users can also use a pre-created dbt Python virtual environment or ask Cosmos to create manage one. Keep in mind that if you use partial parsing, 
that can speed up task run by 35%. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at the documentation of DBT and Cosmos about partial parsing. But if DBT is not available in the Airflow Worker nodes, then would you like to run DBT from within a Docker container in the Airflow Worker node? If yes, then you can create a Docker container image with your DBT project and use Cosmos execution mode dot Docker, as shown below. And if not, if you don't want to do that, then the next question is, are you running within a cloud provider like AWS or Azure? If it is the case, then you can create a Docker container image and delegate the execution of dbt commands to AWS EKS or Azure container instance. As you can see here with the execution config object, we use the execution mode AWS EKS and then we specify some arguments such as the Docker image we want to use and so on. Obviously, the first method is the fastest one. That makes sense. But if you are not running within a cloud provider, then you can still create a Docker image container with your dbt project and then run the dbt commands using Airflow Kubernetes pods with Cosmos. For example, the execution mode Kubernetes. So the idea here truly is to show you that there are many execution modes that exist with Cosmos to give you all the flexibility you need to run your dbt nodes. Don't hesitate to look at the documentation for that. Finally, let's talk about troubleshooting, which is not funny, but important to know. Let's say you can't see your dbt DAG. Well, the first question is, do your DAG files contain the words DAG and Airflow? Because remember, this is how Airflow knows that a given file has a DAG, is a DAG or not. As a helper, you can set Airflow core DAG discovery safe mode to false. But keep in mind, it's much better to have it to true and make sure that your file contains the words DAG or Airflow. And if you do that and still you cannot see your dbt DAGs, then are you using load mode automatic, which is the default one, or load mode dbt ls? If that's the case, try to increase the Airflow core DAG bag import timeout setting because maybe your DAG file is timing out because it takes too much time to render your dbt workflow. And obviously, always check the DAG processor and scheduler logs for errors. That will be a good indicator. Now, if your performance is suboptimal, latency or resource utilization, there are a few things you can do. Try using the latest Cosmos release, that's obvious. Leverage Cosmos caching mechanisms. For very large dbt pipelines, use the load mode dbt manifest. Also, by pre-installing dbt depths in your Airflow environment, you may have better performance. And if possible, use execution mode local and invocation mode dbt runner. Basically, always review the speed tips in the slides with the following symbol. So that's it about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's a lot of best practices, but hopefully now you can get the most out of Cosmos and your dbt workflows with Airflow. I see you for next video. Take care.